Dimelo, Dimelo, Bo Dominican York. What's going on, everybody? Uh, beautiful SB Dunk. Uh, I am happy to have these in the collection now. Uh, very simple, but yet a very vibrant pop of color. Uh, this is the Polaroid Nike Dunk SB. A uh, very inexpensive shoe right now, hovering in the $150 range. Uh, in my size 9, exactly at $150 on StockX for last sale and for current buy uh, for Green Button. And uh, I have to clean these up a little bit, but uh, that ain't nothing that won't bother me. It may bother some of you, but I bought these on eBay, as you can see with the eBay authentication tag. Um, I paid current price on StockX. So I was happy to pick these up. Um, it did take a little bit long to, to get in hand, but that's pro, no, it, it, it was a week. So that's not long, but probably the same amount of time it stick on StockX or, or Goat and maybe longer on those channels. So um, this is a suede kind of, and I got that damn white shoelace uh, unthreaded somehow. Um, anyway, going to the bottom, we see it's got the normal muted stars. I'll end up wiping that up. Probably came from the box. The muted stars on the bottom, uh, mostly standard bottom, but the color accenting uh, was told on some YouTube channel, and look at the stars on it. Was told that this is probably like the Polaroid uh, snap picture button, you know, the button to take a picture. And then uh, of course you've got, because it's an SB, the Phylon midsole peeking through the bottom. Nike SB branding, and then your fingered uh, rear traction uh, that is particular to the SBs, uh, distinguishing them from the regular dunk. Uh, white midsole again, uh, white leather rear, and on the outside you'll see that it's got a, um, a stamp of the pictures that the Polaroid cameras would uh, kick out, and then, you know, we would shake them until the picture showed up. So uh, this is kind of a nostalgic shoe for me. I do love the pop of color, and I am enamored with the fact that it comes with six shoelaces, uh, seven shoelaces, because it's got a black pair installed, the white, green, blue, yellow, red, orange. Uh, the rainbow is in effect. Don't sleep. But uh, the uppers are, I would think, suede or short hair. And then the, the toe box is a slightly longer hair. You see the movement. But the sides are, are shorter. Uh, I don't think it's Nubuck. I think it's a suede. And uh, standard shoelaces, of course. But this is going to be one that maybe picks up a lot of lint and debris. Uh, you can see it already from the box. But that gives it character. Um, we know that they're new. Um, but this gives it character. It gives it a look. Um, I'm happy with the overall design. Uh, I did think it was really weird when I saw it. Uh, I'm not a fan of white bottoms, but the price and the story and it being an SB, it just made sense uh, to pick these up for barely nothing over retail. Uh, did not hit on the sneakers app. And again, on the back tab, I forgot about this, uh, you have Nike and Polaroid. Uh, and then on these, the tongue is a little different on the rear as well. The tongue tag, anyway. On the front, it isn't. Nike SB Dunk Low Pro. Uh, very poofy. And on the back, it reads the Polaroid word and logos, including the Polaroid Classic Border logo, are protected trademarks of Polaroid used under license so these are made in vietnam and not your normal uh riding on the back of a uh, dunk or uh, of a nike that was interesting didn't know why but i guess you had to have that disclosure from polaroid and that was the place to do it uh i did take the insoles out already they are beautiful as well and in other another pop of color uh you see it says again polaroid and then nike sb which is the opposite of the shoes, uh, these are very firm, not floppy at all, uh, slightly thicker than normal, slightly thicker than normal. Um, you do have the air unit in the heel and 
and the cushion in the forefoot, but just a very firm insole. Interesting. I can't wait to rock these on feet and see how that feels, uh, you know, throughout the day. But I think it's going to be comfortable. My last SBs, which I also bought in a size nine, uh, I wore all day at work for eight hours and felt like a glove. It really felt like a glove by the end of it. And, uh, that's why I went again with a size nine and these are from 621 through 1121 for production. Um, and we see that it has a lot of stitching and it is black lines instead of your normal white, uh, and standard strobel bottom, old school tech, but these are beautiful guys. Is it worth the 150 bucks? Is this something that you guys went for? Do you have a pair? Um, I don't see a lot of talk about these online or on YouTube anymore. It, they came and went. So uh, this was one that I wanted to pick up. And when I saw that the prices were a little lower in some places, I grabbed. And then I see that StockX and Goat are the same. It was an easy pickup. Easy decision to pick these up. I uh, hate that that white is unraveling. Let's take a look at the box and then we'll get you guys out of here. Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Quick Strike Black, Black, White. No mention of any color. Made in Vietnam. Does have the little flap, but no price on it. Inside, we do have a stamp. And I know this is, there's a green and white sticker as well. Just your standard Nike SB colorful box. Uh, happy to have another one in the collection. Uh, I'm happy to have this Nike Dunk, honestly. Uh, this SB was one that I, again, wanted to get. Uh, I don't think a lot of people did, but I'm happy for that because look at how the price stayed super low and so close to retail. Uh, I did want to check these uh, for construction quality. Just a little bit of glue there. Uh, lines glowing. White glows. These are clean, guys. Super clean. A little bit of glueage there, overspill. Nothing. The, these guys, uh, Polaroid and Nike, uh, really gave us a beautiful example of a Nike SB Dunk with uh, a tremendous amount of options. Shoelaces, I saw some Google post uh, or Google article that uh, somebody had these laces doubled and intertwined uh, or laced through. Looked amazing. Uh, I wouldn't do all that, but the way they did it looked amazing. Uh, definitely one I'd love to see all beat up, scratched up um, and used by a skateboarder. So, uh, I would like to see these used for a speed for you know skating and see what they look like beat up which i will probably look up after this video but tell me what you guys think is it worth it uh did you guys go for it did you get did you hit did you not hit like me and then are you considering in the aftermarket if you are this is one of the shoes that is affected by the current market and has stayed low so this is the time to buy uh, in a few years, they'll be 200 bucks, uh, about $50 more. And the price will just keep going up after that. So, uh, again, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with your uncle Bo. Please hit me up on Instagram at Rivera.bo. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys want to see. I will tend to, uh, grab those. Uh, I have got the obsidian ones from Mr. Hugh coming. So, uh, I just gave him the green light yesterday. Uh, I know I haven't been doing a lot of UA again, but that is because retail has been so palatable. The pricing has been so good. I've got other retail cops recently that uh, I do want to review. But again, I don't want to do one, more than one a day, maybe. Um, but let's see. I've been doing one a day, and I thought I was only going to do two a week. So uh, if you guys are okay with me doing more than two a week, I'll keep going, maybe. But if not, I need to slow down because... I don't have an infinite amount of shoes, so I need to definitely pace myself um, and make sure that I always uh, have something to, to bring out and share with you guys, which I think I do because I've got other video ideas. I just haven't done them 
Uh, I just keep doing, you know, single shoe reviews. Uh, um, anyway, I want to thank you for hanging out with your Uncle Bo. Uh, hit me up again. I can't wait uh, to keep growing with you guys and maybe uh, start doing bigger and better things. Uh, again, your Uncle Bo. Que Dios te bendiga. Peace.